Hey, mom. Uh, oh, you know, I'm gonna try doing this video thing more often. Uh, mostly just because I think it's fun to see where I'm at and the environment I'm in, which is right now the port town of Opua. And right there is Wonderland, which is my friend Weston's aunt's boat. Her name is Evie, and she has been sailing for 12 years after she retired from being a computer science professor in Boulder, University of Colorado in Boulder. She's been sailing the high seas ever since, and so Weston and I have been hanging out here for the past couple days. I'm trying to get the lighting right. There we go. Hanging out here for the past couple days, and we are going to be setting sail today into the Bay of Islands and working our way down to Fungaray, which is down south on the North Island, where we're going to get the boat ready to go to Fiji. I'm going to go to Fiji, Mom. I guess I just tell you right now, because, yeah, be honest. Uh, and maybe go to Australia before then. And so how the boating world works is that the captain or the owner of the boat will need crew and they need people to help kind of set the sails and do night watch because the boat sails throughout the night and so there's somebody that has to make sure that the boat stays on course and that it doesn't I guess run into anything while on course I don't know about to figure it all out um, but anyway I guess now would be a good time to tell you because I'm in that mood of being honest that I'm going to Fiji and We'll be leaving, <laughs> if I do go to Australia, we'll be leaving for Australia on May 14th, which is the day before my ticket comes back. So, uh, more developments on all that and what that all means for my life afterwards. But, trust that I'm very, very excited to learn um, all about the sailing world. Because, really, people need crews to go on their sailboats um, to help them make large passages from place to place from like port to port and so it's kind of a way of like hitchhiking for free and I mean it is well yeah hitchhiking for free and I get to go on a sailboat the whole way it's really incredible um I'll tell you more about that that's a dinghy that's how people get from their boat to the port which is yeah right over there um with the marina so anyway um yeah Awesome. Glad to hear that Jamaica was a good time. You totally, I bet it was a good break in between the Nebraska weather. And good on you, as they say here in New Zealand. Good on you, mate. I know. I always admire your ability to just transform and reinvent yourself. And so I think that, yeah, going down, you'll be awesome at the golf course. Being a greeter, I'm already just as like, yep, that's where she belongs. Oh, it looks like some rain's coming. Um, it's so people, they like do seasonal things. When the weather just gets shitty, they move to the sunnier, warmer spots. And so here in New Zealand, the winter time is hitting. And so, let's see. I don't know. You can see that gray business over there. It's sunny sometimes, and then it's rainy off and on. Um, but overall, the weather has been phenomenal. They say it's been the best summer they've had in years. So, um, yep, it's starting to rain. Okay, well, I am going to send you a postcard right now for your birthday, and then uh, we might, I'm going to check in with Evie about our timing, but I do believe that I'll be around for, Mika was mentioning doing a FaceTime or Skype um, when Casey comes to visit, and maybe the four of us Possibly Grams and Pappy. Hello. <laughs> Wesson, say hi to my mom. Hi. Amy. Hi. <laughs> That's Weston. That's fun. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. I forgot what I was saying. I love you. Oh, yeah. Your birthday. When you, Casey, and Megan get together and probably Grams and Pappy. We could do a FaceTime. Let me, uh, I'll check in with the skipper, Evie. Ooh, lighty. Um, and see if I can be in Wi-Fi range. And if I am, then I would love to check in with you all. So, yeah. Um, I love you much. And, yeah. Ooh. Yep, raindrop. There we go. Enjoy the day. I love you, Mom. Bye.